Welcome back everyone, Ronan here. This is part four of my XCOM streaming where I just cover the highlights. Uh, someone was asking me about the Mimic Beacon and this is gonna cover more about that in this video. I think the first three clips are pretty much about that. The Mimic Beacon is pretty awesome. I'm actually gonna make a guide on it to work on that. I'm gonna do that tonight and I'm gonna try to just do as many scenarios as possible so I can give you a definitive answer on to how it actually works. Uh, there is also in this video one, uh, I guess, I don't know, flaw about the game. I still understand how it was possible, but line of sight and cover may be flawed, but for the most part, everything is actually pretty solid in this game. All right, like I mentioned here, we're gonna cover the Mimic Beacon, uh, a little bit anyway. And uh, as you can see, I blew a hole through the side of this building, which ended up having enemies on the other side. Um, I figured at the time it was the best way to get line of sight and remove their cover. So I put my Mimic Beacon behind cover, just to test out if it actually gets a bonus. And as I assumed it would, it actually still gets the bonus. Now, I'm kind of sandwiched here and I was running out of options, so I was just buying myself a turn Confirmed. with the ones that were in the church. So, a little slash, but he apparently dodged it. Crazy. I think I got a piece. So with the dodge mechanic and the armor mechanic in this game, it kind of changes your playstyle a little bit, which is uh, actually pretty neat. So as usual, I like to keep my snipers on the roof. I'm not sure if the height advantage is the same as in the original. I've noticed that my snipers have it's a bit down. of a harder time hitting targets now. As opposed to, well, also I'm still using basically uh, the basic weapons, so. So I didn't manage to get the officer down, I don't think. I tried. He just kept dodging the attacks. Just trying to find a position where I'm not going to get flanked easily. So I was assuming that the ranger was going to get hit. So I didn't want that to happen. So I, I gave him a bonus with aid protocol. I also thought I also thought at the time that it would give him overwatch with covering fire, but that was my wrong speculation. Nailed him. So that's looking up, having that lucky crit kill the Viper. Now it's their turn. So this is where the mimic beacon is really handy. So the shield bearer tries to hit it. I'm pretty sure it missed because of the heavy cover or the full cover. I was surprised here. Even the officer went for it. It ignored anybody that was flanked or near it. It just went straight for the beacon. To me, that is pretty crazy. I'm not sure if it's going to happen every time like this, but that's another good use to use a beacon. All right, second video. As I showed before, pull with a uh, battle scanner, because those civilians can't be trusted. That faceless that's hiding could definitely okay, hurt you I'll go. very easily if you don't plan uh, for it. So I got lucky I didn't spawn one, which tells me that those three civilians were uh, safe uh, to go I'm to. I'm trusting you here. And there we go, my first berserker. <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect here. They can't do much from range, it but used to be that when close. you shot them, they would move to you. Now they look so much nicer. The new skin on those berserkers is pretty insane. Like it's almost like they're naked. Like you can see, like not really naked, but like they they don't even have a skin on them. It's pretty crazy. On the move. I haven't been hit by one yet, so I'm planning on not really noticing. The damage from one hopefully I, I can safely kill them uh, i don't know what else would be a priority than a berserker right now but Bring having a two sword pain. guys with him 
That kind of, that's kind of scary. <laughs> Clearly, I was not impressed with the Get it together. missed shot. I mean, they call themselves snipers, and they get an 80% chance to hit. I think that was my last hit that I rewatched the video. I actually was really surprised. I thought I was gonna get hit, and the burning did enough damage to kill it, which was really nice. Grenades are pretty amazing in this game. Sorry about that, I guess I was wrong about the beacon. I just want to show my first encounter with a berserker. We're seeing heavy civilian casualties, Commander. We have to stop this. So, if you're having a hard time with faceless, or I'm not even sure if maybe crystallids can be spotted out later on, I haven't encountered those yet, you may want to have a specialist. This skill looks to be invaluable because of the sheer range. It's too bad that you only have one turn for it. But look at how far it scans that faceless. It's not even different. Or even people It doesn't care about life sight. You're looking through a building, it works. Just amazing. So, I think a specialist with that skill, no matter if it's a medic or the hacker, maybe consider getting that skill. I'm not sure what the other version is for the medic, so it may be a toss up. But, uh, look at that. Alright, as I mentioned before, I would be covering a bit on the Mimic. So here it goes. I tossed the Mimic Beacon just in front of the bus. Now I did cut, so you may not see where the enemies are right now. But there's two in the bus, or right, right close to the bus. And I think there's another one on the left. There's, there's a Shield Breaker, Shield Bearer, right there. So I'm just trying to think of what to do right now, and I have Richard on the rooftop, and no one really sees anything, so I just overwatch on most of these guys. Now, I take a free move, grapple is amazing, you can't use it, like in the first one, you can't spam it anymore, it gets a cooldown, at least for this armor, because this is a spider armor, I highly recommend getting one of these early on. I'm coming for you. I run and gun. I didn't really know what it would do. Throwing the hook. So it actually did nothing. I'm not sure how run and gun is supposed spotted. to work, but I'll figure that out after. So I spawned another group by jumping over to another roof, which is pretty bad. So now I'm like, what? What's going on? Uh, the move would have been free without run and gun. So. so I decided to go for a strike. I didn't even look at what the path was. I should have. So it kind of worked out. I go inside the bus, crit hit for 10. That's awesome. That's how oh, it's I'm inside done. the bus. I'm inside full cover. Not bad. It's kind of like really far ahead, like beyond enemy lines right there. Moving on Overwatch. On Overwatch. So it's all right in case I, I think I saved just beforehand because I'm still learning. Now let's watch their turn because of the beacon. For some reason, he shoots civilians instead of shooting Richard. That, I didn't understand. But I'm okay with that. So I'll have my Overwatch set up. I love the gun. It just looks so awesome with the pistol. So, he goes and tries to shoot the... It isn't wide open. The Mimic Beacon is in wide open, there's no cover. She somehow dodged it. So the robot goes in, goes for an attack. 
It's a crit, but I don't really care because it's not a real person. Oh, another hit. But all three of them just focused on that and then focused on where my guys were. They just totally ignored where my soldiers were. And now, basically, again, I get a free turn. Now, at the, this point in the game, I only have the one beacon. But as I'm doing this recording, I'm now at two beacons. Which I haven't had time to test what the effect of two would do. But I'll be doing that like as soon as this video is uploaded. And then there we go. Now I just finish off my turn and Richard is still in the bus. Yeah, catch. I kept the fight at uh, times two speed for this portion. So if you want to see what ended up happening for the rest of the fight, um, there's nothing really of a highlight. I just, if some people are curious about you know, okay, why is Richard still on the bus and where he goes from there, I left it at two times speed. If you want to skip ahead, go to 13 minutes, about 15 seconds, and it'll be the rest of the video. Left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. Alright, now we're at the last portion of the video. I think this is where I kind of called it quits for the night. So, I'm just trying to figure out how to move my guys up in cover. I just noticed this spot. What does that mean? I mean, if you think about it, if there's anything on that side, it's a flank. If not, anything on this side is what's seeing me right now. So where my sniper was is technically a flank too. So I'm kind of confused here about how that spot works out, but I mean, no big deal. It's just it doesn't make sense, because thankfully that would be a flank too. So this is also the first time I deal with, I think they're called an Archon. I don't fully know what they're capable of. Every time, I should change my strategy. Every time I encounter a new enemy, instead of learning what they do, I just kill them as fast as I can. So, that's pretty bad on my part. Alright, now I'm going to show how I generally pull. And maybe as I watch Grenade! this, my thoughts on it. Now, you always want to pull with your one of your heavier weapons, one of your strongest hitting things. And considering how now you can pull with a grenade, the enemies don't know where they, where they are and they're grouped up, in my opinion, that's a really good way to do it. And at the same time, I had they're my sniper. Us with kill zone. Now, kill zone is amazing in theory. I think I mentioned this before. 
but it has some issues with what it can do. Now, I'm pretty sure he killed the Archon there, or really close to. Now he goes for a second shot with somebody else. I think that Muton. But since the other Muton, I guess, already reached cover or didn't have enough area to see him, he does not shoot that Muton. Enemy eliminated. Not a big deal, because I. You know, I got two successful shots on that, so that's still a good strategy. It's just that I find that if there's any form of cover between you and the enemy, your kill zone will not work. So just be aware of that. And like I said, we kill the Archon without even knowing what it does. Apparently it dodges. I don't know if it's comparable to a floater, or if it's just an upgraded version of a floater. I have no idea. Come on, focus. That's kind of getting ticked off. Because I missed with two of my characters. Now the archons just. Gonna have his turn. Get it together. And I'm like, ah, and I'm like, oh, nice. So there goes the burning. This is why incendiary grenades to pull is awesome. I'm not sure if it destroys loot though. It could very well destroy loot. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I try to upload tips and tricks on videos and also a lot of highlights from my streams. Thank you all for coming, and I'll catch you in the next video. Roger that.